In this session, you'll take a look at working with the white bases generated by simple steps raster. You will get a tinted underbase with your designs. Here in Corel Draw, I've got my Key West design set up with the clownfish assets I developed and separated. Actually, if I wanted to separate this, I could separate this directly in simple steps, and I wouldn't have to go through simple steps raster. But for the sake of this video, I'm looking at the white bases. We'll go ahead and work with this. I'm going to convert these design assets just to one single bitmap. And you'll see that the color preservation, I'm going to hit Control Z here. You'll see that the color of the separations that we set up when we built these clownfish assets back in the clownfish design tutorial will actually stay with this even though we converted it back to RGB. I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to go ahead and set my page to landscape here. And I think I want to change this to 13 by 19. So this will be 1.90. This will be 1.30, no, 1.3.0, 1.3.0, click off here, and then we'll make this like a nice full front design, right about 10 or 11 or 12 inches. I'm going to take all of this selected here, we're going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, it's going to be RGB color, no anti-aliasing or transparent background. Now actually we do want a transparent background. The reason being is if we don't have a transparent background, I'll select OK here. And we process this. When we do, we're going to get white underneath where all of this white in the bitmap is. Order will go to back of page. All of this white will be in our white base if we don't go with a transparent background. Now, if we received this file, we'd have to go and clean out the background. I'm going to hit Control Z here, and we'll go back, and then we'll go bitmap, convert to bitmap. Transparent background enabled and select OK. Next thing I want to do is just go ahead and start processing my color separations. I'll go to Advanced Tools, Simple Seps Raster, and we'll go to our HSB extract and we'll let that process. Once that's finished processing, we'll go ahead and make a review here. And we can see what we've got for colors here, and this looks all right. I can compare this with my original come down here and we'll pull this down and see how we are in colors and we can see that we perfectly got our hues out actually you'll notice that our hues came out absolutely perfect and that's because we would actually pre-separated this early and if you want to see how I tricked this separation earlier go back and watch the design about setting up the clownfish design and working with design assets that's another tutorial but we'll go ahead and hit control Z here oh I just undid my hue shift control Z there we go now I want to hit Control Z, Shift Control Z, and I want to take this. Actually, I'll just go ahead and for the original art, I'm just going to go ahead and we'll just put this back up under here for now. And I'm going to disable this anyway. And then I'm going to turn on my, enable my brightness, my saturation, and my hue. And we want to make sure everything else is disabled or you're liable to get a crash. Now we're going to go back to our Simple Seps raster and we're going to process our color separations or generate our separations. Okay, now that we've finished processing our separations, we'll go ahead and take a look and see what we've got. I'm going to come down here and bring down our original art. We'll enable that. I'll click on this layer, get that bitmap, and bring that down because we can see we did have an issue here. And that's why in the other tutorial, I tricked my separations and made my orange much darker. This orange is coming out quite a bit light. If I look at my white highlight, that doesn't really deal with any of it. So what I'm going to need to do if I was working on my actual separations is make some tweaks here. Actually, it's an easy tweak. I'll just come over here, click on my red, click on the plus sign. I'll grab this red monochrome bitmap here. I'm going to go to Advanced Tools and Simple Sep Raster. I'm going to do a monochrome revert on that. And I'm going to go to my separations tab, we'll click on monochrome revert, and that's going to convert that back to a grayscale. I'll go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to have that selected. I'm going to go to effects, adjust, and tone curve. I'm going to zoom out, and then we'll zoom in here. I'm going to change this to straight. I'm going to lay down a node here, and I'm just going to darken things here, and we'll click on preview here. And I think that might be a little bit too much than what I actually want. And I probably want some of this lighter stuff a little bit also. Preview. And I'll select OK. Next thing I'm going to do is we'll go back and we'll go to a monochrome convert. 
same bitmap selected as you can see right there and let that process once that finishes I'll go ahead and come up here make sure I've got that selected right click and I'll have my orange back as you can see right there through the blend just did a very dynamic edit of the separations very easily working with the tone curve there now for my white base and so we can take a look at white bases here all I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need my black my white highlight I'm not gonna need my magenta my blue my cyan my green I'm definitely gonna need my red and yellow I'm gonna keep my shirt background I'll turn off my original art next thing I'll do is go ahead and select everything and then we'll come over here and we'll just go ahead and crop right across the entire graphic here and then we'll double click and that'll crop that for us now we want to take a look at our white bases here I'm also going to show you a quick way if you want prefer to go with a solid base instead of a tinted base you can do that and we can also choke that manually in Corel Photo Paint but we'll go ahead and I'm going to back out of this document with this object manager with everything set up in it because as I've said many times throughout the training the object manager in Corel Draw tends to be a bit unstable select OK I'm going to go ahead and paste these in and we'll take a look here at our white base which is right here now you'll notice that if I change this shirt color down here which is actually a curve to a black on some designs you might notice some of change in the color if we go from white to black now this white base nailed it perfectly but if you end up with go ahead and take this white base and this curve and I'm going to copy both of these control C go to insert page after control V you can see here's our white base and this is set up as a monochrome bitmap also now if it's not dense enough or bright enough for the color of the substrate you're working on you can simply hit copy and paste and that'll start to make it brighter if you want to make it 100 percent solid you could just paste that in a whole bunch of times until you got rid of all of the transparencies then if you want to do something like create a choke for that which might come in handy for you and actually I want to go control Z and come down here and get the curve and we'll move that because I don't want that and I know the rest of that's up here and I'll go up here and then I'll right click remember monochrome bitmap right click foreground color left click background color if I left click I'm going to get a color in here and I can get rid of that simply by coming over here and Xing that out but you can see some of the transparency that even here has been adjusted but if you want to give this let's say a choked base we can copy and paste this in a couple more times and we'll get rid of just about all the transparency then you can take this and you can go to bitmaps convert to bitmaps let's say we'll go with a grayscale 300 dpi and select OK give that just a minute to process then we can do something very easy like bitmap mode go to black and white zoom out and then come back in here as you can see right there now these areas are where there's actually black in the fish I'm gonna to go to line art and you can slide this up select OK now if you want to choke this all you need to do is go bitmap edit bitmap open this up in photo paint now here I'm set up as a black and white but I'll just go to image and I'll go to mode and convert to grayscale yes I'll go ahead and flatten everything and select OK now you can see we just converted everything but we didn't get any aliasing all I've got to do to choke this is just go to mask color mask mask color mask and I want to go here to hit cancel I think I made a mask there mask remove okay mask color mask take our eyedropper click on the black select OK zoom in here and then just go mask mask outline reduce and you can see we're going in here just a couple pixels you might want to make that three pixels at 300 dpi three pixels is about one point choke select OK go to mask invert now with the background selected making sure that we've selected a masking tool well, you don't have to really do that anyway but anyway we can go ahead and delete this and then go to mask and remove go ahead and save that and then let's go ahead and close photo paint and here we can go back to bitmap mode black and white and select line art select OK left click to make our background transparent right click for our white underbase we could copy this 
Go back to page one here. We'll click on here. We'll delete our under base monochrome with that selected. You can see a change there, just a slight one. Go ahead and paste this in and we can drag this down beneath to the bottom on top of the curve and now we've got a choked white base set up for our graphic and it works just fine. So go ahead and wrap here concerning underbases and we'll continue in some more videos.